medical conditions by the use of medical terminologies, acronyms, mnemonics, and many others for easy understanding. Our topic for today is an eye condition. How would you pronounce this eye condition? Most of you would pronounce this pterygium. No, the right pronunciation is pterygium. The P is silent, so it's pronounced pterygium. One may ask, what is pterygium? Pterygium is a growth of tissue in the corner of one or both eyes, which is triangular in shape. The growth occurs or starts from the conjunctiva and extends to the pupil. When this extended growth is left untreated, it leads to obscuring of vision, distortion of the surface of the eye, which then leads to blurry vision. Most of this eye condition is not known, but there are certain factors that increase the person's chance of developing this eye condition. The first factor of looking at is exposure to excessive amounts of ultraviolet rays from the sun. This occurs in people living in sunny areas and in people whose jobs expose them to ultraviolet rays. Examples of such people are farmers, welders, and fishermen. The second factor we're looking at is environmental irritants. That's exposure to environmental irritants. So examples of such irritants are chemicals, air pollution, wind, and dust. The third factor is heredity. Heredity, that is usually your family. It increases your chance of developing it. That is the family history. And pterygium occurs as frequently as twice in males than in females. Pterygium occurs mostly in people older than 40 years and above. You would realize that this condition is a rare condition. We are, we are moving on to the signs and symptoms. So, there are certain signs that you would see when a person is developing this type of condition, you would know that, oh, yeah, this is pterygium. The first sign is eye redness and inflammation. Burning feeling in the eye. You realize that the person has this kind of burning sensation in the eye. This burning sensation actually leads to pain. And there's a feeling of objects, like let's say, that is it, something has fallen in the eye, to the pain, to that kind of feeling, and dryness. And the dryness is due to reduced hearing or reduced tear production. Then there's blurry vision. This blurry vision, this blurry vision occurs on the transparent layer of the front eye. That is the cornea. And obscuring of vision. This one also occurs across the pupil, diagnosing pterygium. Pterygium can usually be diagnosed by its distinctive appearance and symptoms, as I mentioned earlier on. However, in the early stages, it may be confused with similar conditions, such as pinguacula. Pinguacula is actually the early stage of pterygium. So if pinguacula is left untreated, that is when it leads to pterygium which is another form of growth. So the pinguacula is also another form of growth that affects the conjunctiva. But that one, that is actually extends to the pupil. So when you realize that it extends to the pupil, that's when it leads to pterygium. That is, if left untreated. Then the treatment. Pterygium often doesn't cause problems or require treatment. However, there are two main treatment approaches that can be considered. If the pterygium, if only the pterygium is causing discomfort or is affecting vision, the two main treatment approaches are medication and surgery. Let's look at medication. So the medications used are short-term topical corticosteroid eye drops. This corticosteroid eye drops actually reduces redness and inflammation. And when the where well, like if there is dryness of the eye or a problem of that sort, artificial tears are used to keep the eye well lubricated. Yeah. Then we are moving on to the surgical aspect. CBS surgical. 
meaning surgery. So we're going to say surgery, how I say. So surgery may be recommended for if the vision is affected or symptoms are particularly problematic. During surgery, the pterygium is carefully removed and a section of the conjunctiva is taken from under the eyelid and is grafted onto the area where the pterygium was. Surgery is performed using a local anesthetic and it takes approximately 30 minutes to perform. So the local anesthetic actually numbs the place so that the patient wouldn't feel the pain. And if possible, if the pterygium may occur after the surgery or after the growth is removed, another surgery would be performed. But this one is occurs in few or small percentages. So the cases that the reoccurrence cases are rare. So we are moving on to the so this is how the surgery is being performed. The growth is being removed. Prevention. How would you prevent this eye condition? So, to reduce this risk of oil, to reduce your risk of developing this eye condition, that's the region. Use sunglasses that block out ultraviolet rays. As we said earlier on, the main factor is exposure to excessive amount of ultraviolet rays. So, use sunglasses that blocks out ultraviolet rays. And also wear sunglasses and a hat with a wide brim when out outdoors. So a wide brim when outdoors. Outdoors. And also avoid exposure to environmental irritants. I said earlier, examples of such irritants are dust, wind, smoke, and chemical pollutants. And also use appropriate eye safety equipment in work environment. Okay, so this is a picture of penguacula and down fast is pterygium. So you realize that the penguacula is the early stage of the pterygium. Then we move on to the diagnosing it. So we have visual equity testing. So with this test, the patient is made to stand 20 feet from the chart. Visual equity test is a test used to diagnose pterygium. This test is an eye exam, exam that checks how well you see the details of letters and symbols from a specific distance. We have two types of this visual equity testing. The first is cleaning chart, and then the second is tumbling E chart. The tumbling E chart is a rotated E. So here you realize that the cleaning chart is a graded form. So the higher object, that is the biggest alphabet, the smallest alphabet. The normal vision of an individual is 2020. So it's best you go to your doctor or go to the hospital and have a test done to prevent higher.